also guys, Puzzle Man here, and I'm going to have to go back to YouTube and see when I uploaded the video of doing this hood. Well, it's been almost a year. Let me see your phone. Can you see the date on there? Yep. Okay. Alright, refocus it. Well, it's been almost a year, and... I've traded the Mustang in on that. Yeah. So I'm moving on to a truck, but in order to trade it in, they want me to peel this, so I'm going to peel the hood. I just uploaded the video where I did all this, so all this isn't going to come, it's not going to be a problem. But. The reason I'm doing this video has been almost a year and I just want to show that it's still easy to peel self-thin plastic dip up off of a vehicle after a long period of time. But this isn't just regular self-thin plastic dip. This is self-thin plastic dip with UV protection. Regular plastic dip, three to five months, when you start to peel it, it's going to rip like paper. I just want to be able to do a video and show you. So, let me get thought again. Dealerships don't like to put this stuff on their lot. I don't know. <laughs> Oh
if I'd have taken a little bit more time, I could have got it all off in one sheet, but I'm actually racing the clock here. I've got to get this thing back up here tonight, and they close in about an hour and a half. But I really wanted to film this and show you taking off self-thin Plasti Dip with UV protection didn't hurt my pain. I was a big, a big misconception is that thinners that you use the thin Plasti Dip with hurt your paint. Um, there's actually nothing farther than the truth. In sprayable Plasti Dip, um, there's a lot of those same thinners that I use, except I use just VMNP. There's a lot more stuff in sprayable than there is in uh, just thinning it yourself. So um, I'm going to go ahead and peel the rest of this car, and from now on in my videos, you're going to see Big Nasty back there. <laughs> Thing 